Hi everyone, welcome to the 22nd session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about feature scaling. So what is feature scaling? It is a method used to standardize the range of independent variables or the feature of data. In other words, it is used to scale the data in a particular range like minus 1 to plus 1, minus 5 to plus 5, minus 8 to plus 8, depending on the algorithm that we are using. And why do we require feature scaling? As because there is a lot of disparity between the extreme values in a data, which means the data is not normalized and not scaled, then we will not get the desired result and the output will be misleading. Also, the data lies between the different mean values resulting into different standard deviation and variance. So in order to achieve the expected output, we need to keep the data in a similar range. So in order to achieve the above criteria, the criteria which I have mentioned, we need to use feature scaling and the different Methods of feature scaling we will use as min max scalar, standard scalar, normalizer, and binarizer. So, what we will do, we already have, we will import this library because pre processing is a, a class from where we will import all min max scalar, standard scalar, everything. So, we will import, uh, we will execute this and numpy, which is used to create our array, which I have already defined here. Okay, now we will give x, we have got this. We will start with our creating the scalar creating the scalar will be like min suppose we say is min max scalar is equals to processing dot min max scalar and then feature scale feature range is there right feature range is equals to 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 is the default range in which it will if you are not giving any other range then it will uh, scale the data within a range of 0 to 1 I'll show that how it will be executed. After that, we need to whatever uh, this scale value, scale min max scalar will contain, we need to fit it. So in that case, x underscore scalar is equals to the object whatever we have defined here, min scalar dot fit underscore. We need to pass this or x. So. Now, if we see here, what is the value of how our data is scaled? So that we will see. Now, how do how does it calculate this value at the back end? The mm, formula for this is it will calculate like x i x of i minus x of min. Should be divided by x of max minus x of min. So here, if we see the very first value, which is minus 400, okay, minus 400 and minus of again minus 400 will be plus 400. So minus 400 and plus 400 will be zero. Zero divided by anything is zero. Now after that, we have the next value, which is minus 100. So xi will be minus 100, and the minimum value is minus 400. So minus 100, minus 100, and then minus of minus 400 is minus of minus 400 which will be ultimately divided by x of max is 400 minus of x of min minus 400 okay this will be ultimately will be un minus 100 plus 400 this will be divided by 400 plus 400 which is equals to 300 by 800 is equal to 3 by 8 and if we give 3 by 8 here 3 by 8 which is 0.375 and the similar goes for each and every cell, cell value now this is what we have applied here is for one row like uh, single dimension array what if we apply it to a matrix like 3 into 3 matrix okay now what we'll do we'll give x1 is equals to np dot a array and then there we'll give 1 comma 2 comma 3 9 to give one more bracket here then only it will be able to read the uh, array control enter so our array is 3 into 3 matrix is formed okay now what we will we need to apply the exact steps so we'll copy it paste it here 
just we'll change the name in max scalar one and here we will change the values one and also here so if we execute this so what is the value of x underscore scalar one so you see this this uh, this uh, three to three max matrix is conver converted how it is converted you'll see now for this particular feature means this column which is the minimum value one so one minus one for, because here value is 1, 1 minus 1 by max minus 1, 7 minus 1, which is 0 by 6, which is 0. That's why we the value 0 is there. Now, which is the next value 4? 4 minus minimum, which is 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 by 7 minus 1, which is 6. So, 3 by 6 is 0. 0.5. For the last value, 6 uh, max minus minimum, 7 minus 1 by 7 minus 1, which will again come 1. We have to simply follow this formula and we can get the output. Now, this is like a simple approach, but in in the reality, like when we are dealing with a data set, how do we achieve that? How do we transform the columns of a data set using the same procedure? Applying it to a pandas data set. So we already have a first, first of all, we will, uh, we need to import pandas, import pandas as PD, and then we need to Suppose we will write df is a file name. Dataset is the file name pd.readcsv. And then our the name of our file is we'll go to our okay. So now what is the content of our data set? Dataset dot info. So it has uh, five columns. Now we'll check the data set dot head. So we can see. The first column is ID, second column is the gender, third column is age and salary. So we need to apply feature call, uh, feature scaling, the min max scalar in these two columns. So how do we achieve that? So for this, we have to first extract feature extraction. We need to do, we need to extract the column second and the column third, which is the age and the salary. So we will say, we will code like as follows. Features is equals to data set dot iloc which i if uh, i've already explained about uh, data size uh, iloc command in my previous exercises like in session one two three it is there data set dot iloc and then before colon it will be rows and after colon colon it will be for the columns it'll give two comma three dot values shift home control enter now if you want to view this what is features so our uh, co uh, second column, the age and the salary column is extracted into this feature. Now, if you want to see the shape of this feature, 200 rows and two columns. Now, after this, we need to simply create a min max scalar in salary AS is equals to min every processing free processing dot min max scalar and then we provide the range. Suppose we are providing the range of 0, 1 equal to should be here. And after that, we have to just give underscore. We need to scale our feature, which is equals to min max scalar. And we need to pass, not pass, we need to transform it. Dot fit underscore fit underscore transform. And we need to pass our features. So we need to execute these two lines. We have already executed these features. Now we need to execute these two lines. Okay, this value feature underscore. So we have got we this is executed perfectly. Now we'll execute. We will see what is transform or what is rather scaled. So if we want to view feature scale, so you can see every value is scale between zero and one. Now if you want to transform the value between 0 and 2, you have to simply change it and execute this. And then here you execute it, feature scale. So it is transform. You see, this value is greater than, uh, this is around 9. And then, yeah, this, this value is greater than 1. So it is ultimately between 0 and 2. So thanks a lot for watching this session. If you feel this uh, video is helpful, please comment and press the like button. And uh, also subscribe to this channel. Also, if you want me to cover any other topic, please post in the comment section. Thanks a lot.